color grading with LUTs in Final Cut Pro. Is this thing even on? Oh, hey, welcome to my bedroom. My name is Dale Rosine, and today I wanted to take you guys through my color grading workflow. It's not very complicated. It's pretty simple, actually. So without further ado, let's jump into Final Cut and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. Um, I've selected a clip from a vlog that we did a couple weeks ago. I'm taking Maggie for a little bit of a walk. And as you can see, it's really flat looking. I believe I shot this in Cine 4, Picture Profile 8, not S-Log. Um, I really don't believe in S-Log, to be honest with you. I know I've seen a lot of great results with S-Log, but for me, run and gun, flying around, just makes sense to use the Cine profiles. It's my preference. Everybody's a little bit different. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is expose correctly. Make sure you're exposed for the scene that you wanna expose for. So I usually go up to the video scopes and just take a look at the RGB parade to make sure I'm not clipping anything and it looks good here. If you're sitting between zero and 100, you're pretty good. You've exposed correctly and you have all this information to play with that you can bring back and post here. If it was clipped um, or things were blown out or underexposed, you wouldn't be able to bring that information back and post. Then that would be color correcting. So grab a LUT, any LUT you want. I choose Cinematic Volume 3 Pixel Film Studios and I'll drop a link in the description for the LUT I used. And I'd like to go up to this one here called Aggressive. I think that's what I used on it. Kind of got a cool sort of earthy look to it. And usually the first thing I do is totally take the film grain amount out because unless you're going for that specific grainy film look, I don't dig it. And I usually bring the LUT mix down to about 90%. Depending on where my exposure's at, um, I'll also deal with the brightness, brightness there. So then I'll add a simple color correction. I'm telling you guys, this is so, so easy. If you nail your exposure in camera, it's no problem. Um, gonna crush the blacks probably, maybe bring the highlights down a little bit so I can get that detail in the cloud. Crush those blacks so I get a little bit of a dramatic kind of contrasty look. Actually, I think I'll bring the highlights up a little bit. I still can do that, yeah. And go over to my saturation tab pull that puck all the way up until it feels comfortable to me. And that's another thing. You have to trust your instincts, trust your eye and color for the scene. I wouldn't want to have this in black and white. It wouldn't make sense to me. And I wouldn't want to have this like really saturated and completely colorful because there's just not that kind of color in the scene to begin with. So that's it, man. It's really pretty simple. The best takeaway for this is less is more, I find, and nail your exposure in camera. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found some value in this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you wanna see more content like this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.